Hello everyone, in last video I shared with you uh, validating demand for niche ideas. I know it was quite long ago but I thought I'll get back to it and we'll follow uh, the next steps which are validating demand, selecting the niche, sub-niche, which we'll do today. Then we'll do keyword research. Then we will write the listing using those keywords. And the next step will be setting up uh, ads for this listing using the keywords that we have selected before. Um, in this video, um, we went through the niches picked by you and i noticed that horse niche is a good one american flag as long as it is cross niched with other men related hobbies or also women tops there's not a lot of competition on match and um, for american flag mixed with women related niches then sarcastic niche and the main niche was gaming so let's do the research in this niche is house niche maybe something else will show up mm. let's close this up right hoodie and there's one good seller really good seller and this history of this t-shirt quite good history quite long listed in 2018 2018 so it's almost four years old 32k 99 30 so the lowest psr was back in 2019 was around 30k right now it's doing okay 73,000 this t-shirt right this t-shirt was doing really well it's quite new in 2020 so last year christmas and here we have it in the summertime and it continues till today all right so we have two really good sellers this one might have been a good seller because of number of reviews no it's quite a decent seller mm. all right um, another with a lot of reviews And now it's best time and it's not the best. This one. Oh, this one had a good history in the past. I wish it was my t-shirt. It would be quite easy for me to get that dip again here in December. And no one has said that it won't happen this year so that's a good one i would count it as a good one so we have three um, here's another one to check okay this is a quite new one It's gonna repeat this last year. 
So this t-shirt is cross niche with Christian Catholic. Oh, I know this guy. Yep, again, December is a dip, December is a dip. Let's take a look when, right. So we have about two weeks to start max, two weeks. Oh, another good seller. All time. All right, 2017, quite long. And it's just this year that somebody probably start running ads. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what I like the most, you know. Slowly but surely, average BSR goes down. And down at yeah, 82. Okay. Right, so we have four really good sellers. That's the same as from top. Right, I've counted that already. A lot of reviews. Not sure why. Not that good uh, BSR at the moment. All right, steady seller throughout the year. Got just below 100k last year. Right. So beginning of November is a. Uh, Crucial point. Which is right behind the corner. Nothing else really stands out to me. Right, this is not my chat but I want to see its history yeah, it's losing its grip that's the worst case scenario you know when your average BSR goes up and up and up and up all right let's go to the second page By the way, I'm looking at the BSR and if some shirt has a lot of reviews like this one, I'm interested why it's not selling good at the moment. Yeah, it has a lot of reviews because it was lucky, <laughs> probably. Some have more luck than others and they have better review rate of course if they don't manipulate too much okay just a girl who loves horses okay yeah it has a chance to be a good seller. And this is a really, really good example of mashing up everything what's trending. Just a girl who of horses was trending um, some time ago. Then light colored flower motifs with hard, like a ball horse style. And of course, sunset. But this one always matching, you know, colors. It's done with the taste. 
and that's what's in my opinion take what's selling the best mash it up with another theme that's selling the best and make something new of course right now i don't know how to improve this design <laughs> this is really good and it mashed up a lot of great ideas for designs oh this one is a good seller in the past i noticed that there's quite a few that were selling good in the past are not so good but they are just con consistent over time since 2017 maybe this shirt got a lot of sales before helium 10 starting gathering the data about um Okay, quite a lot of um, really good sellers, but some of them were good sellers in the past. And just a few, I think five, something like that are crushing it at the moment. Um, this one looks good. And this one. Yeah. This is the strategy that I don't follow. I don't know how somebody done it. Wait 1999 from day one. Maybe they are really good at ads, or oh, they were just lucky. Right, third page. Oh, I just thought about adding one more step here. because after we select the niche which we'll get into then we then we have to select um, the best designs or design theme for the niche like this one that I mentioned before I see targeting girls and adding light flower motif but it's also some dark motifs on uh, like color shirts that were doing good yeah that's what i mean when you upload the design don't look at your sales in first few days few weeks few months just take one year well, this is my strategy usually. Um, usually I start with 19, uh, 1399, not 1307. Uh, but I do the same as this guy. Increase, increase, and then it's easier to run uh, and easier to run ads. Has few good sellers. It has some so it gives me two things to think about. 
why it doesn't have more sellers, why the sellers that were selling good in the past don't sell anymore, and also is there enough search volume for it.